There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey, it's your girl A. So today's video is being brought to you by Mega Look Hair. So girl, look at this wig. She is very pretty, already pre-curled, pre-styled. So while I go take these pins out, I'm gonna show you how your unit comes from Mega Look. <laughs> I wish I had the same delusion That I do when I was two and Didn't think that I could ruin Anything at all, I could never fall I wish I had that same conviction Convinced I never needed a fixing Yeah, that girl really knew her business Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one and if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to become, now I can't remember How I used to do it, that I was a member Of confidence love, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just don't But sadly I've outgrown what the inside of the cap is looking like you get two combs one at the top and one at the nape and a black elastic band now this is a 13 by 4 and she is 26 inches in length girl i had to curl this before i got on camera because this was a lot of hair like it's long and it's very full okay so i knew my arms would get tired if i would have just curled it by hand plus i wanted to put the pins in it to make sure that the curls would stay so as you see, the wig cap is a little bit too big. So I went ahead and parted it over my ear. And that way the wig is going to be able to fit properly versus, you know, me having to tuck it. And right there is where I'm going to cut. Basically right before the, the cap. And this is how much hair was removed. And so as you guys see, the back of it is just kind of like flappy. I wish they would have had like maybe like a drawstring or like just a better fit. I would have preferred it to be more or less like a regular cap wig versus like these dome caps. But we're going to work around that. You know, I just repeat the same thing, the next same step on the opposite side. So for this part, I'm going ahead and cut into three sections and then I just cut away on each side. I said I was going to do side by side. Basically, I was going to do one side at a time. And what I did was I just went ahead and used my favorite hairspray, which is by Aussie Instant Freeze. And I'm going to allow it to get tacky. I was going to do just one side at a time because the lace is kind of loose, like fitting. But then I decided I'm just going to do it my way. Okay, got to take a little sip of the iced tea, girl. And then we're going to get to cutting. Now I went ahead and I put some more hairspray. I used that one side. So while it gets tacky, girl, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spruce up my lips, Okay. So now we are on to the second layer and I'm going to also allow that to get tacky, you know, while I'm doing that still sprucing up my little lipstick there. And this is the third and final layer. So what I'm going to do is I did allow it to get a little tacky prior to pulling down the top. And once it's tacky, it basically holds itself down. I love this hairspray. It works really good. Aussie Instant Freeze. Look at that. I was really not expecting the hairline to look this good. Like, I really did think there was going to be, like, a whole bunch of speckles. And I was going to have to use, like, a bunch of baby hairs or whatever. But the unit came out really, really nice. They did a great job with bleaching it. So that was a plus. And now all I'm going to do is just go ahead and put my little black, well, my elastic bands on, my little melting band. I'm going to use my foundation stick to...
to spruce up that party and make it look like it's scalp, girlfriend, okay? And even though I set the curls, it's still, the curls was not as tight as I would have liked them to. But I do notice that when the hair is really, really long, the curls sometimes seem to take longer to hold. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hot comb just to make the hair lay a little bit more flatter in the front. The color is really nice. It's a very pretty red. The lace came out nice. I'm really happy that they did a great job on the bleaching because don't nobody want no little red speckle knots. And they did a great job with the coloring. I really do like the color a lot. Reminds me of like Jessica Rabbit, okay? Now look, I had those pins in for like three or four days, I think. And the hair, the curls still didn't hold. So I'm just going to retouch some of the curls in the front up. I think for me, more or less, I like for it to be really curled good in the front. Now this wig would be bomb as hell if it was really, really layered, like that butterfly layered. This would look good. But as you can tell, some of the hairs in the front are layered. It is layered in the front. But to have it layered throughout the whole entire thing, it probably would come out really, really nice. Like I said, this is 26 inches. And the density, I can't remember, so I'll definitely link it below. But, girl, when I tell you this was a lot of hair, this was a nice amount of hair. So they wasn't skimpy on no hair. And now to cut me some little sideburns. You know, I rather like them a little bit long most of the time. Spruce it up with my hairspray, girl. That hairspray is good for everything. And look at that hairline. Look at that. I don't even need no baby hairs, okay? No baby hairs needed. They have a really nice hairline. The lace is real good, girl. They did a they did a bomb job on the bleaching, okay? They did a really good job on the bleaching to where you don't even need to conceal or use no type of baby hairs. Girl, they did a really nice job. And all I do in the front is I kind of lift the hair in the front to make it look like it's really root. I don't really like my hair to be too stiff or too plastered down to my skin. So I kind of like to lift the roots up a little bit just to make it look like it's growing. Now look at that. She came out cute, baby. Okay, do it like a short day. This color look good on a girl. Okay, I'm saying. I don't really do this color much, but it came through. Mega Look did they thing with this color. For real, they did a really nice job on this color. I think this is the best red wig I've ever gotten. Like, they did a bomb-ass job on it. It's the perfect color. Girl, yes. Make sure you get one of these, okay? Yeah, you got to cut the lace, okay? And yeah, you may have to finagle it, but girl, it's so worth it. The hair is soft. It's not all dried out or anything like that. They give you a nice, decent amount of hair, okay? I wish I saw what she saw. I wish I knew what she knew. I love how she I'm really happy about the fact that I ain't had to put no baby hairs. Y'all can see right there my little happy dance. Definitely happy about the fact that I ain't had to do no baby hairs because this look grown and sexy without the baby hairs, okay? Now, I don't know about the length. I don't really like my hair to be this long, but it's still cute, though. And look, you could put it up in an updo and make yourself look like a pinup girl. Girl, this wig is pretty, okay? Look at the color. Ooh, girl, yes. Do it like it's your be day, baby, Okay? Make sure you check the description box out. Let me know what y'all think of this unit. What color wig do you like? What color is your favorite color hair? I'll link everything for Mega Look. You know, it's about to be a good Black Friday sales and the holidays is coming up. So, girl, get you one of these red wigs so it can match your outfits. I love y'all. Stay Divin' Delicious, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!